Now, you have to understand, when Jessico is dancing, doing his mountain dancing, they thought this would take him out of the holler and to Hollywood, and it did. But um, sometimes um, you shouldn't take people out of their habitat and try to force them into society. And uh, Wayney is the guy who, Wayney Green, is that correct, who plays guitar for Jessica when he dances. You might have saw him doing Wildwood Flower on the documentary. Yes, I did. Um, we, uh, I just want you to know who Wayney is because we have to deal with Wayney trying to get to Jessica, and we'll just let her play. This is us attempting to get an interview yesterday, and of all people, it appears the only person he wants to talk to is Speedy. Uh, this is uh, our attempt and eventual interview with the mountain dancer, Jessica White. I hope he um I hope he doesn't hang up on us, Rick. <laughs> mm. Please. He said he was working on his trailer and he might not hear the phone. Serious business. Of course, he loves us right now. Yeah. He's going on, huh? So it's out of that boy again. Come on. We might have to call right back if he doesn't answer. For some reason, he lets the phone ring for a long time. Never answers. If you call back, he answers like second ring. You're kidding? No. Jessica, please don't hang up. This is Calvin. Please. Jessica, will you talk to me, please? Jessica. <laughs> Jessica. We got to call him again. Okay. <laughs> Golly. I wonder why he won't, <laughs> won't talk to us. He said he would. I know. Huh? Maybe I shouldn't ask for Jessica. Maybe he's in Elvis form now. Ask for Elvis. Is that what you were saying? Enter your account. Ask, ask for Elvis. Is that what you were saying, D? Ask for Elvis. <laughs> what, what, what happened? <laughs> Something has gone bad. You think Wayne, you told him he shouldn't talk to us? Wayne, he might have. And tell him it's real important. Mm. He was there. You know that, don't you? Oh, he's still there. <laughs> What's he doing right now? Freaking out. Who do I ask for, Elvis or Jessica? We need this. We need him bad. Come on, Jessica. If all else fails, we call Mammy. <laughs> I mean, right now. All right. No, ask for Wayne. Huh? Ask for Wayne. Hello? Hey, uh, Wayne, how you doing? This is Calvin again. How are you, buddy? I'm sorry to bother you, okay? I, this will be the last time we call. Okay, yeah. okay, buddy? I'm, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Um, Jessica, will he not talk to me? Uh -huh. Will he? Jessica, he said he didn't want to talk about it. Okay, well, I just want is there any way that, that he could give me just two or three minutes real quick, please? Would you just ask him to, real real nice-like? No, there's something wrong with this phone. It's a grinding. It, if, do what? This phone acts like it's a grinding or something. You can't hardly understand what you're saying. Okay, okay. Uh, how about now? Can you hear me now? Huh? Can you hear me? A little bit. A little bit? Okay, well, we'll speak up. Is there any way that you could ask real nice and see if he'll talk to me again? I just got a couple of questions for him. We won't bother me again, please. Uh, well, you want to speak with him? Yes, sir. If, if, if you don't mind, we'll just take just a couple of minutes, please. Just... Well, he said he didn't want to even talk about it. Oh, okay, well, can, can, can we talk about his dad real quick? Because I have a couple of questions about how, how good his dad was. I can't hardly understand what you're saying. Could you... Could... Could you ask him? I, I got a couple of questions about his father. 
could I ask him a couple of questions about his father, about the dancer his father was? That's all I want to know. But you know what that'll do to him? No, sir. It brings his father back into his mind again. Because mm -hmm. I was with him when he, when he entered his life. And uh, it shakes Jesse up whenever he gets talking about his dad. Okay, well, what can we talk about that Jesse likes? What does Jesse like to talk about? I can't even talk about it to him about business. I want to start a business and let it be his uh, 100%, but he don't want to even talk about that. Well, what, what, can we talk to, uh, what can we talk to Jesse about that he will talk to us about? Mm, probably nothing. Probably nothing. What do you talk to him about when you're sitting there? I try to talk to him about a business. Uh -huh. into uh, the business of him doing what he wants to do, mm -hmm. but he don't want to do that. What about Elvis? Well, now Elvis, uh, that's just about out of his uh, uh, category. What about the great dancer that he is? A lot of you know that's that's a gift. Yeah, he said, but the people done destroyed that. The people have him. Him being a dancer, that his father left him with. People didn't destroy that for Jessica. Mm -hmm. He got him a cousin. He, he's a cousin of public, the way that they treated him. And uh, you know what? Jessica is a loner right now. He, 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 he's here in his home. He don't, don't want no people to come and visit with him. Right. Is, who's they that? got him in such a state of mind when they come, they drive up to his, his place, he wants to run and hide. What Get about? Away from them. Well, we and we don't want to interfere. We everybody just loves his biography so much, and they want us to find out how, what it, how he's doing, and and every, well, and they're just they, they destroyed his father, and then uh, they're doing him the same way. Yeah, that wasn't that an argument. Uh, he was going back for some shades, and they shot his father. Yeah, they yeah. come and they want to drink, use alcohol and all that. And stuff and the dope and stuff and it's got Jessica just about zero for his uh, entertainment is concerned. No, oh, so you're saying the people who did the documentary on him that all they've done is take from him and he That's had, exactly. He, you know you got it. And he they took never took a documentary and then they took and made big bucks off of it. You know what Jesse got out of it? Not even enough to buy him a, a pound of beans. So that's, that's they done to him. That's why he's bitter. He's bitter because people made money off of him and didn't give him any of it. That's right. That's it. Well, that's what we're here to try to. Uh, we're trying to let people know that so they won't continue to buy this video. Hell, people don't care about that. They're just after the money that they can get off of him. Right. Well, we don't want anyone buying the video anymore if he's not making any money off of it. Yeah. All the, all the videos that was made off of Jessica's uh, uh, talent, they make the bucks. Jessica gets about, yeah, I say about $150 a year off the videos. Then Social Security cuts that out of his check. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? I understand. Can you just hand the phone real quick to Jessica? Just hand it to him, please, because I, I hear him. Well, he's he, he going to say, uh, he's going to say bye, Jessica. Okay. He wants to say bye to you. He wants to, he wants to tell you that's the end of it. Jesse, we we want to close this chapter in your life and let everybody know that you're uh, what has happened to you and what's been done to you, so they will no longer buy these videos to help these people out. We want to shut it down for you, buddy. We want to close this chapter in your life. And we and we, we appreciate your time, Jessica. We just that's all we wanted, buddy. We're here to help you, big man. We understand what you've been through. It's tough. Everybody's jealous of you. That's what it is. You got the God-given talent, and you're the one who has it, and, and everybody else is trying to act like it's their talent, and it's not. And these people, they're bad people. They're jealous. You know, it's like I said, they'll have to answer to God to that, not me. I mean, you know, he's the judge, and all I can do is go on with my life in a different type of way, some other way. What are you going to do with yourself now, Jesse? Well, I probably will try to work on a place where no one can find me another place i want to work to get my health better you know because i'm disability and that's what i'm trying to work on been working on all my life is just uh, 
try to escape the things that's uh, bad for your health. And I'm a type of person loves to drink, smoke just like anybody else, but it's killing me. Well, Jesse, do you, can you still dance physically? Well, uh, I probably could if I wanted to. I could probably dance uh, better than anybody, as far as that goes. But see, like I tell you, all this stuff destroyed it. If you could tell the public one thing, what would you say? I'd tell the public uh, the king has left the building, but will always be around. <laughs> and Jessica's left the camper. We'll be living in a one-bedroom trailer. So you're you're building your new trailer. I'm trying to fix one up. I got off my sister, and then she charged me four hundred dollars, hit no one until I needed a home. Well, was that Mamie? Yeah. Then I had to take seven wheelbars of garbage and toys all I hit before I could, uh, you know, pay her the money to get it. Well, it, can, can she still drive a pickup pretty good, though? Well, I don't know about that, but I know one thing: I'm changing my life around to another way. Cause um, I've got people that really appreciate me. Cause you know what? I've had people to call me way off you know, to their places uh, to do a show for them, and they treated me really nice. Well, it just it, it just happened when you came back from Hollywood. I think your family's just jealous, Jessica. Well, my family's been the ones that's destroying me all the time, but you can't, uh, people don't believe that. If you tell them that, then uh, if the family does it, and the friend of the family knows that they're doing it, then they start doing it. Then uh, the whole world's a doing it. So now how can you win you got the whole world against you when they're supposed to be with you? <laughs> Do you still go to your room and, and play the Elvis tapes and drink your coffee? Oh, I don't have to do that. God has uh, programmed that into me or it'll never leave me. And I can keep it in there as long as I want to. And nobody can take it out unless a doctor, you know, blocks my memory with a shot. Well, Jessica, and we... that would destroy or kill me and make me worse, sir. Well, um, we, uh, we, we wish... And I don't you... think they'd do something like that because the Elvis part was just an extra gift from God to get me out of poverty, you know, to go with my dancing, to better myself, just for me and my wife. And everybody else started getting, you know, pocket the money off of it. And that's the reason I said I quit it and washed my hands of it, and I hope everybody had a good time and loved what they seen, because they can't go see no more unless they see me in hell, you know. That's the only place, the last place they're going to see me. Well, we hope to, we hope to see you in heaven, buddy, and we wish you and you the best. And we will not be bothering you any longer. We we just had to reach closure on this. Yeah. And we thank you for doing that. Keep dancing, buddy, because it's a gift. That's right. God bless you, bud. You too. All right, bye bye. Bye. All right, uh, there, there there it was, Bubba. The uh, interview with uh, the mountain dancer himself, Jessica White. Those of you who want an update? Uh, there she was. We'll uh, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.